Hi, and um, welcome to this session on Microsoft Flow and integrating Google Calendar uh, with SharePoint calendars. So I've got this calendar in Google. I'm going to put all my entries into this calendar. I've got a separate calendar in SharePoint, and I don't really want to be duplicating the calendar items, so I don't want to be adding it to Google and going back and adding it to SharePoint. So what I'm going to do is create a flow to link the two calendars together. So when an item is added to the Google calendar, it gets added to the SharePoint one as well. So um, inside Office 365, part of Office 365 is something called Microsoft Flow. If it's not in your app list like here, you can just Google it and go straight to the, uh, the Microsoft Flow site. Sign in with the Office 365 credentials and you can create a flow from here. So I'm going to create a new one blank, so not from a template, and just search for Google. And that brings up all the Google triggers and actions that I can do. Um, so you can see you can do all sorts with um, event items. So I'm going to add um, trigger it when an event is added to the calendar. And I'm going to pick my default Google calendar. So you'll probably ask you to sign in if you've not already signed into Google um, on the web website. So I'm going to add another action. And then I'm going to search for SharePoint. And I'm going to create an item because uh, the calendar is a list. And I'm going to create a new item on that list. And you want to go back to your SharePoint calendar, grab the URL of the site, go back into Microsoft Flow and just paste that in and type in the name of the list. I've just called mine calendar. And that's automatically going to pick up all the fields for you. And if you click on the title field, you can see you've got the option to add any of the fields that have been returned from the previous step. So the items that were added to the Google calendar. So I'm going to add in the title, the start time, the end time, Adding the location and the description, and all that is going to come from whatever was added to the Google Calendar. Let's go put it into the SharePoint Calendar. So I've done that. I click Create Flow. So it's very very quick to create that simple flow. Obviously, you might have to add some extra logic into there. You know, if you've got an all-day event, what are you going to do? You know, if you've got um, items being deleted or edited, you have to create flows to handle that as well. Um, but this is a very simple one. Items added to Google Calendar, just a, a standard event, and it will get copied onto the SharePoint event. So if I go back into my Google Calendar and um, create a new event, so I'm not going to make it an all-day event because it hasn't, um, that's going to just put a default start time and end time. So I'm just going to create one 10 a.m. till 11 a.m. Call it SharePoint Test, and then just save that. So as soon as that's saved, um, Microsoft Flow is going to pick that up and it's going to take those details and create a new SharePoint calendar list item. So back inside Microsoft Flow, I can check on the details, um, the successes and failures, any um, previous runs of that um, flow. So I just click on the information icon next to that, you'll see I'm just going to refresh a page and eventually it's succeeded. So a few seconds later it's uh, done it. Go back to SharePoint Calendar, refresh the page, and the SharePoint item has been created in there. So fantastic. Um, you see I've actually got two items in my calendar now. So I've actually previously set up a flow to do exactly the same task. So both flows have run and copied into the calendar. Um, so what I'll actually do to correct that is actually just turn one of these off. But you can see that you can actually create as many flows as you want. Um, it can be doing all sorts. So you might have one for creating new items, one for deleting items, um, you might have one for updating them. So, you know, you can put all the logic you need into this and even more logic if you needed to as well. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, check out our website if you need any custom consultancy.